hold on, gotta get ready. If I'm gonna say stuff, I gotta get ready, you know? Kinda sit up, get the pillows just right, put the candle in position. I don't have the bell of freedom, but I know the bell of freedom rings within each and every one of us. So let's just get that bell of freedom and bring it online. Happy solstice, I love you. Since I didn't prepare, this is the essential oil of a rose. Let's tap some to the brain, symbolically, into the heart. Okay, now let's get going here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I love you. Much love from all there is and all beings, great, great beings of light and masters of the universe that are here to serve and to uplift and to liberate humans from themselves. Ring the bell for freedom. How are you entering into this day, dear ones? How are you entering into this moment? Are you entering this moment with a calm, centered, and peaceful energy? Are you entering this moment with urgency and emergency? Take a breath. Are you entering this moment in gratitude and humble and available to this moment? Right now, outside these doors, outside these walls, the sun is preparing to come and rise. The sun is rising on this solstice day. It is approximately 6.45 in Colorado, and the sun's, uh, according to the Weather Channel, will be rising at 7.20. <clears throat> but for now, we have our attention in this now moment to honor and to be comfortably relaxed because this moment has infinite potential. This moment has infinite everything, including joy and prosperity and and love. So um, you're asked to take this day and make of it your best day ever. Make this the day. KF, I love you. We're inviting, I'm inviting each and every one of you who, are, who have landed here in this be here now moment, the eternal time moment, to hang with your immortal brother, Brother Sage, ring the bell for freedom. There is more to be grateful for than we realize. Jermar, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome to the now time, eternal now time. Take off your shoes and socks, please. Take a breath. Get comfortable. If you can shuffle your bare feet on the ground or just hold them to pull, to bring a, a balance or a polarizing uh, balance to your energy right now. I'm in a very grateful moment now with no hurry to get to the next now or streams of now where this will go. Hi from Africa. Noma Gugu, I love you. And this near hair, thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's take this uh, moment and what shall we do with it? Do you have any comments, any questions? What can we do with this moment that will transform lives and who is that? This, this is my friend, Therese, who wanted to do a sunrise uh, uh, meditation. She says, good morning. Uh, the eastern sky is dark, deep, dark orange. The sun will be rising at 719. I've decided to watch and be present in the backyard. Yes, probably because it's 20 mile an hour wind right now. So we're going to inside, outside, everywhere to send love and light and blessings to each one of you joyous beings so that you may have your strength and your freedom and your courage to continue waves of, of love and light to every brother and sister on the planet. For this is the best time in our human history for us to keep our hearts vibrating, for us to communicate heart to heart, for us to, to speak about love in more ways than you can imagine. For it is the love that brought us here. It is the love that get, gets us going. It's the love that encourages us and motivates us to get our butt out of bed and to serve and to make a difference. So how will you be serving and making a difference today? Are you going to fall into your patterns, your programming, your routines? Are you going to walk in a different way, think in a different way, express in a different way, love in a deeper way of yourself and everybody? Let's do that today. Let's have a love festival right now. Everybody send love to each other. All four people who are on this line. 
love to you, love to me, love to you, love to me, love to you, love to me, love to me. Now amplify that, now activate that, now enhance that, and kick it ass, kick it out viral all over the planet. I cannot speak for everybody's life path. You cannot speak for everybody's karma. You cannot speak for everybody's drama and choices. I pray that people choose peace for themselves. I pray that people choose love for themselves. I pray that people forgive themselves, dust themselves off, get up, and help everybody else do the same thing. We're in it together. We're one human race, species, whatever we want to call ourselves. And uh, this is our planet. This is our world. And it's our choice to uh, reclaim it. Reclaim freedom and justice and liberty for all. A, a way of living, a quality of life for each and every one of us to have the highest quality of life, the highest expression of love, the highest intensity of our light. That is my prayer for you. My prayer for me. Ring the bell for freedom. So this is what I bring to my calls. Each and every time I bring to the call. This is what the energy I bring to my clients. The energy to our uh, urine therapy conference call. By the way, the next one is scheduled on the 26th, which will be this Saturday. And I encourage you to encourage a lot of people to get behind the Shivambu movement, the Shivambu message, the water of life um, um, nectar of immortality, the golden blood plasma water. It's more than a movement. It's a paradigm shift. It's a tipping point. Whew. Imagine a billion people drinking pee on planet Earth. What kind of planet we'd be on? Being people that are self-healing, self-regulating, self-enjoying, and sharing their love with everybody. But the people you meet in the water family are the most loving people you can imagine. They take to you as if they've known you for lifetimes. And I'm that way with everybody. I don't care what your path is. I care that you're a being and you matter. And so if you matter, you matter. So lift yourself and enjoy this day. And I will have to end with a namaste since nobody else is rapping with me. It's time for me to set my soul free. I may walk tall and talk lots, but I know what it got. And there's a joy and it's a gratitude. And I feel I got the right attitude to be of good cheer, to not drink a beer, be healthy as ever. I'm right here. My dear friend John DePass is doing an awesome freaking awesome job at guiding those souls that want to be liberated from food slavery doing an awesome job for people who want to be liberated from mental slavery and all forms of slavery he's getting people to do the gandhi thing by being foodless on monday and uh, as often as possible because there's a lot of freedom and just going right to your core and your soul and not letting food uh, be your distraction or your bypass so and the same thing with sex, and the same thing with the internet, and it's the same thing with politics, and the same things with blah, 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 blah time. Uh, be still today. Spend some time today finding your quiet, happy place. You could do it right now if you want. I'll hold space for you. Come to terms with the loving, authentic, beautiful, innocent, sacred being you call you. Or I call me. Now, there are terms that we all have in common that unite all of us. One is I am, because everybody knows that everybody says I am. Everybody says that. I am this and I am that. It could be a positive I am statement. It could be a negative I am statement. Everybody says I am. Any other word that everybody says, and this is just a word not to be charged with ego statement, but we all say me. Bring it to me. Allow me. Give it to me. It is me. And the me and me is the me and you and the me that's in everyone is all me. So it's not a selfish me. It's the me and all of us. It's the I and all of us. It's the observer and not the uh, participant. Some people think I know stuff. Well, I know what I know what I need to know when I need to know it. And you know what you know when you need to know when you need to know it. There's a divine order, a divine plan. You can't mess up if you just surrender to that which is larger than your mind and your ego and your personality and your identity and your story. Because that'll come and go. 
You're eternal. Your light is eternal. Your love is eternal. Look, I have a wild hair. It's eternal. It's eternalized. How does that happen? Wow. So, blessings, my friends, from Africa. Who are you else are you from? Who else is from where? Germa, where are you from? KF, where'd you call call in from? Just curious. By the way, I've been I've been watching where my last book, Healing Water from Within, is being sold. I mean, not to brag or anything, but the book is starting to have sales in Japan, Mexico, Germany, um, the Dutch countries, um, UK, Australia, India. I'm watching who is studying urine therapy around or across the planet. Now, the next book, which is going to be uh, coming up and published and ready to purchase and market and distribute, uh, Manual for Urine Therapy Teachers and Therapists. Here it is. If you haven't seen it, here's the prototype. Just got the, the proof copy a few days ago, and I've gone through it. Great cover. There's the side book, upside down. There's the back of the book. Look how thick it is. This book is a book worth reading and buying. 100, 275 pages. And there's a couple of white pages in the back for taking notes and scribbling and writing down your insights and your ideas. And it ends with a endorsement by Manjushri Ma Abhinav out there in India. I love you, Manjushri. She's a dear water sister. I love each and every one of you that come to my Facebook uh, live streams, YouTube live streams, um, brothersage.com website shivambu.org website i hope you will take some time and seriously look at our fundraiser statement right now uh the funds that we're raising will able to explode uh the message of shivambu through online and offline media through education and through research through an outreach program through creating community gatherings and meetings and uh traveling to various countries and and helping people to get this going in their community. So uh, I hope you will start donating. And thank you for those that have been donating to the Shivambu.org uh, uh, nonprofit faith based organization of which I founded. I'm currently uh, the communications director because uh, I like communicating. I guess it's a Gemini thing. All right, people are texting me. The day is getting started. Love you guys. If you want to communicate, you know how to reach me. We've got a great day coming up. This is it. Have fun.